Hello everyone, I'm Like a Bosk. And I'm Must Do. And we're in the loser's bracket here. Can't wait to see if Balistoys can continue his dominance or if Kraken can upset him in the next, you know, the championship round. But let's get into the loser's bracket with these six fights who have something to prove. And yes, we're doing it the same way as we did last year. Yes, it's going to be funny and funky, but these four, four fighters were already kicked out of the tournament because they didn't win a match. We're going to be a little bit more brutal this year. Absolutely. We're here to see... Yeah, we're just here to see who is the best, and frankly, it, we're kind of making it more difficult to get up from the bottom once you get there. And so that makes this first tournament and these first fights in the tournament all the more important. If you can fight your way through this loser's bracket and get fourth place even, you guarantee yourself to move up in the bracket. You're guaranteed that. So it gives a lot more value to getting fourth place Absolutely. than ever before as... Raven is showing that his loss to Baustoise was just barely a loss as he's coming out here destroying Blue early and they get even already. But similar, or going off what you were saying earlier, a third and fourth place finish grant you a bye in the first round of the next tournament. As well as first and second, so you want to get the higher positions of course anyways, but it gives you more incentive to fight in the loser's bracket. Raven Absolutely. goes really deep off stage trying to recover is able to make it back, but Blue's, I guess, just playing around over there. And he's and gone! Raven strikes first! Raven at 126%, 145, Yoshi's taunt, or Blue's taunting. Not sure why, but he is. A beautiful parry! Wow. A Nair sends him out there, and hello, Blue, we see you as well. The beautiful taunt. I mean, I, this is crazy. I, I did not expect Blue to be down this much percentage with how the first part of the stock and a taunt. Absolutely. Down 107, down 100. So down wow. a stock, you mean, as 16% is negligible. negligible. Yeah, it's negligible. Jinx. It, jinx, yes. <laughs> something like that. Wow. I don't know what Blue's doing out there. Maybe he's a little bit frazzled. All I know is Raven has come out here and made a statement winning by two stocks wow congratulations to raven you might have lost to bow's toys but he's not hanging his head low the raven is here to stay i can see that i think we might have a top four contender right there definitely especially he's the only one out of the newcomers who really have amounted to something in this first tournament which i find a little bit shocking as do i as I, I had high hopes for them i i did too especially robert I, I will say I am not even a little. I am extremely disappointed with that lackluster performance. But now we're getting into a, it almost seems like a UAL classic here with Sir Bubble versus Board Bork. With Board Bork coming out at the beginning, dealing out 26 damage. Yeah, Board Bork and Sir Bubble, it's, it's always a fun matchup. You know, Board Bork surprises a lot of people out there when he starts fighting. You don't really expect that much from him. I think he's starting to work on his inconsistency. As uh, the Charizard form of Sir Bubble is already out. I guess nothing's as interesting as uh, <laughs> the Raven and Blue matchup that was just a little bit more fast paced. These two seem to be being a little bit more cautious, maybe making sure that they don't die within the first minute. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's. It's of course fun to play as like big, strong, heavy characters, but for watching it, you, you want to see more speed, more fast pace. Yeah, yeah. but we, we cannot say that this type of gameplay is not great. I mean, maybe as it, we get great, a and kill, quality and Board Bork, I mean, they're quality fighters for sure. Absolutely. But Board Bork taking the first stock is extremely interesting. Mm -hmm. And he's able to actually get some more damage on him as a change. He, did, he didn't even give Squirtle a chance out there, but... Wow! He's calling him into every combo, it seems. Board Bork managing to get back to stage. That's got to be out of there, right? Yeah. Yes, it Sir is. Bubble finally gets him. And has, but he did get him up to yeah, 43%. 43%. As he's continuing that, and the big guns are out. I'm not sure if he's going to do anything with them. Wow. Uh, that tail to. has some range. Yeah, that tail went in the stage, and Flare Blitz, oh. and it connects to that. 
Board Bork was going off stage to end the job. We know that Board Bork's very capable of spiking. We've seen it before. Uh, yes, we have. And that was a great dodge. That's a kill. And takes a one-stock lead. 40% Board Bork's still out here for, for winning. I mean, of course, every Amiibo is, but Sir Bubble, I guess, even getting second place in the championship last year, it's going to be a struggle. I mean, he has not finished worse than fourth place ever. This would set the tone, like a set a new tone. Yeah, I mean, he he's one of the most consistent fighters going against one of the most inconsistent fighters, and... Oh, he texts it. He is able to make it back to stage. Yeah, this is bringing out the big guns. Is and it going to be enough? At this high damage, he has to be very careful. One solid hit, and he could be off the stage. I think at this point, Board Bork's not afraid to play a little bit more aggressive, seeing that Sir Bubble's kind of on the back ropes here. Absolutely. And he gets him out of there. 50% damage, though. It depends on if... Uh, Sir Bubble can get back to their normal form as they bring out the Squirtle. Maybe an early combo game, starting to get it up there. Why hasn't he been doing this all game as it's even now? Mostly. <laughs> oh. Uh, can oh my recover? Did, was that an SD? I'm not certain if the game will call it an SD. But that is the worst performance we've seen from Sir Bubble as far as placement. That and, is, uh, I, that that places him below blue. Does it now? Wait, Eight? never mind. He got two KOs. My bad. <laughs> blue is the next lowest in eighth place with Sir Bubble guaranteed seventh. But still, a that, seventh place yeah. finish is significantly worse than any he had last season. I don't think he was expecting that, but I'm not sure if Raven or Eclipse is going to be expecting what Raven has. Raven's surprisingly decent, and I mean, not surprisingly decent. He's one of the best in Japan. As <laughs> when he came over here, he was proving his worth because he knows that this is where the champions come. And he almost took out the champion, the reigning champion from last season. We don't know if he's going to continue that dominance here, but considering how he hasn't landed a blow yet, yeah, uh, I, I think it's going to be difficult. I mean, she's also won a tournament. She was also going against Bow's Toys just as hard as Raven was. This battlefield stage might play into her playstyle slightly more but as he's just taunting. Like that. Yeah, just like that. That's right. He got Mazzy. her up to 85. And as long as she stays on there, he should just keep farming that damage. Completely agree with you there. I mean, wow. it looked like she had the... Oh, wow. Hello, Zero Suit... I mean, uh, Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Zero Suit Eclipse. That's a new character coming to Smash 6. Sakurai won't tell you about it, but <laughs> Raven... Wow, he's he's trying to get that spike with the side B, which is really fun to get and really fun to watch people get. And as these Amiibos are going full, full force at it, even she's going for a spike. She says, I see yours and I raise you mine. Wow. Another taunt. I think. Uh, yeah, he's Maybe. not afraid. No, it was a taunt. <laughs> oh, as he's trying to reflect it, he's making it back to stage. Both of them have made it. Eclipse uh, he... always defending that option. He's still at three stocks. Indeed, but he is at 125. I don't also... think he cares that he's at 125. He's not playing any differently. He's still going out there for grabs and just... <laughs> he's going out there. Wow. As he gets and a he back air! Two stock and he lead. taunted too. 140 yeah. damage though, and Eclipse is not happy about that. He oh. is able to make it back to stage. Don't even ask the question. Let's see if the young guy can do what we're all thinking. But let's definitely not say it because we know we have a bad habit of. Oh my goodness. Just an absolutely phenomenal performance. From both of these fighters. I mean, Eclipse is. Still in this because she is a former. With, the very with, first three two. stock in this tournament. Oh, my. this is the third one that has happened ever in our, I mean, in our league. So this is Raven insane. gets an extra point to wherever he finishes his first tournament, and he gets a three stock. We only had two last season. That is insane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, so that's three st three stocks total. So far, like from last season to this season. Now we gotta see if Big Boss and Board Bork 
can match the amplitude of that last matchup. Wow. Even though it was a three stock, <clears throat> it still was a good game throughout, and it was just super exciting. Regardless of who wins this match, or whoever loses this match, if they get one stock, they're guaranteed to get that fifth place. Absolutely. Which right now is, I mean, they're on the top side of the points anyways, so Eclipse is guaranteed at worst sixth. As Big Boss is hiding. <laughs> He's easily found. <clears throat> As they're at the We Fit stage, maybe it's a message to us to get off our butts, but we won't read it as that. He was trying to get that C4 out, but... Board Bork, once again, is using the same strategy as he did last season, where he just would run up and rush down Big Boss. They're both ranged, but I still feel like Board Bork has the better options up close. Oh, great little kick right there. As Big Boss is kind of go going off stage, he's like having a peek. <laughs> Not quite going out there to kill, but making sure he knows what's happening. I mean, if anyone here was expecting these kind of matchups, let us know down below, because I honestly was not. But if you're new to the channel and you're just now finding this, trust me, it's a wonderful thing, and you've been blessed. <laughs> we recommend you check out our sec or our first. Why are we still here? Just a second. Oh! Like a second, and we have a spike from Board, Board Bork. Bork spike central. You know, you really don't expect it from a duck hunt as a player, as an amiibo. But Board Bork was taught it, and he loved it. He would go for it all the time when training, and Big Boss barely makes it back to the stage, not having to use his C4 to recover yet, but he has used it for other purposes. Like a KO here? Do you I, think we're going to see that? I do think that Big Boss will get a KO with a C4. Just hopefully not. Hopefully not on SD. himself. I think that if he farms underneath the middle and he gets an up throw into that C4 on the middle platform, B B uh, Board Bork won't expect it. As Board Bork wow. got hit... Oh, they both got hit by the can. Big Boss off stage, And Board Bork has a lead of two stocks at 140 damage. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, he gets in his box. Interesting for him to taunt like that. They're both really getting into it. Board Bork is guaranteed fifth place. If he, or whoever loses this match is guaranteed fifth place as Eclipse gets sixth. It's going to be interesting to see if they continue this form, though. Big Boss, I mean, Big Boss is pretty strong. He did lose to Kraken, who's in the finals. But, I, I mean, the biggest thing so far for me is that Sir Bubble didn't finish in the top 50%. That, that is by far the most surprising thing we've seen, I'd say, in this entire what, lifetime of the UAL. Yeah, I mean, he's been such a consistent fighter, fighting for championships in he that was nature. was Mr. Consistency. Never and finished worse than fourth, and now he's finishing in seventh, but let's not detract from what these other fighters have done. Because, of course, while everyone wants to be the best version of themselves, Board Bork wants to move on to fight for third place. Wow. That is just exhilarating to watch. And I mean, So that makes our third and fourth place bout between... Um, Raven. Raven and Board Bork. I don't know how many people would have predicted this going down uh, before this video started. I mean, this new fighter here has really shown his worth as he's defeated one tournament champion from last year. And or last almost... Season. Almost defeated de another. Almost dethroned well, both. Balstoid. Yeah, he almost he did defeat one, and he almost defeated. So he's one and one against former tournament winners. And there aren't many people who can say that. Only Jin Kazama, but he's two and zero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's got an early lead here. Absolutely. Only one percent of damage. I'm kind of curious As he's how taunting, that one percent. It was a uh, through oh, wow. a grab cancel. Ah, interesting. And just like that, back up to twenty-four. Some good quick damage from Board Bork, but we have to remember Raven just got off a hot three stock against uh, the smooth Eclipse. But 
I don't know if he's going to be able to three-stock Board Bork. Board Bork's very strong of a fighter. He gets really consistent, or now he's proving to be a little bit more consistent, but inside of matches, he always knows how to take at least one or two stocks. As the option's still there, a quick grab. I love watching that move right there. Yeah, a great the throw. throw. and the shot. Looks like Board Bork's trying his best imitation of that as he <laughs> spikes him into the stage, throws him off the side. Can goes out and the discus on the other side. Oh, some laser gameplay. Oh! And we've got a spike getting <laughs> Board Bork taking his first stock, giving Raven a 3 2 lead currently. Wow. This is just what we love to see. But he is at 145 damage and, and now it's 0 0. Anybody's game still. We are back to square one. These are, this is for third place. And I mean, you don't really expect three stocks when you get higher up in the league. Like, where the rankings are. You expect the three stocks kind of in the lower matches, maybe the loser's bracket, but I wasn't even expecting Eclipse to get three stocked. No. A previous tournament champion? Absolutely not. No. But As then again, I don't <laughs> ever really expect three stocks. So They're so rare, that's why we gave them the one point, because what are the chances? As he's defending wonderfully off stage. Apparently, Board Bork's recovery is just good enough to not kill him, which... Oh! <gasps> a spike! Raven! Wow. That was... If I'm not mistaken, Board Bork had the percent advantage, too. I believe he did. 60% to, like, that 90. that was a great reversal. Yeah, he reversed the and, turn. Like, And he's still fighting. He's still going off stage. And as we've seen Raven go, they haven't... Raven hasn't died at a low percentage yet. No, Raven really uh, does not make... I was going to say any errors <laughs> as he jumps into an exploding can and he gets sent off the stage 60 but, to 0. That's going to be hard say, but to come back. Not before he got board work up to 60. Now up to 87. Ooh, board board's trying a spike of his own, which they both were going for grabs there. Oh, he went for it, but he didn't get it. Oh, wow. Sending him off the other side of the stage. Can coming, and he jumps into it again. That seems to be his... Uh, <laughs> his, his Achilles, Achilles heel. heel, yeah. His Achilles can. <laughs> oh! 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 <gasps> They're still in it! Oh! Oh my oh, goodness, what a Raven. turn of event. Wow. Raven spiked Board Bork with a great tech... Wow, talk about being on the edge of our seats for that. I mean, Raven, congratulations. You're for your first tournament and you're third place. Duck Hunt, I mean, Board Bork, great job coming back from the clutches of death practically and getting the fourth place finish. He's in the top half and probably sitting with the best points he's sat with in a long time, but congratulations, Raven. I can't wait to see what Bows, Toys, and Kraken get up to. Nor can I, but join us next time to find out. I'm like a boss. And I must do. See you then.